Hi, uh, students. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to learn uh, iron iron carbide uh, phase diagram. It's a binary phase diagram. Um, uh, basically, uh, if you look at this, uh, as I said, it is a binary. It is a iron and the carbon. Uh, the phase diagram basically uh, x and y axis. X axis and the bottom represent a composition uh, or weight percentage of the carbon and iron and uh, in the y axis uh, represent uh, the temperature in celsius uh, if you look at the iron uh, uh, iron carbide phase diagram uh, the range of carbon of uh, composition is 6.7 uh, weight percentage of the carbon we are adding into the uh, 100 uh, or uh, percentage of the are uh, uh, the uh, uh, iron uh, if you look at the left side uh, there is a temperature axis uh, if you see that there is uh, uh, alpha phase uh, uh, and uh, if you go to that gamma phase uh, then delta phase uh, these are the pure iron will undergo uh, this kind of uh, phase transition um, so uh, when you heat at a different temperature you will come across the various phases of the iron now uh, if you add uh, carbon uh, in weight percentage slowly uh, you will get uh, various uh, phases uh, that is what is represented in the iron iron carbide phase diagram otherwise it's called as fe fe3c phase diagram uh, and uh, there is a various melting point uh, this Alpha phase has the melting point of at 9 uh, 12 uh, Celsius, uh, 912 Celsius. Then there is a gamma phase melting uh, point is about uh, uh, 1394 Celsius, and the delta phase has a melting point about uh, 1538 Celsius. Um, so it is a it's a combination of the composition of the carbon iron and the temperature uh, so if you add uh, the phase and melting point of the different phases will change this is what it is represented uh, in these uh, lines uh, you can see that there are various microstructure which is uh, put into that um, let us look into that um, if the carbon percentage is less than uh, two point uh, four weight percentage, uh, two point one four weight percentage. Then uh, uh, this uh, phases is called steel. Uh, steel uh, in a steel, uh, the carbon percentage should be weight percentage should be two point one four. Um, if anything above two point one four and uh, six point seven, it's called a cast iron. Um, so uh, you can see that uh, there are various phases. Uh, uh, ferrite phases, alpha ferrite phases, that is a purely iron. Uh, then pearlite phases, uh, which is represented, uh, and astenite phases, so gamma astenite phases. Um, so if you go delta, again a ferrite phases. Uh, if you heat uh, above this uh, line, red lines, whatever you see here, this is a liquid. Uh, so this region is a gamma. Uh, plus liquid and uh, this is a gamma astenite uh, solid and a gamma uh, cementite uh, that is Fe3C gamma in this phase uh, if you come down to below 727 Celsius 727 Celsius uh, then you will get uh, alpha and ferrite alpha ferrite and cementite phases um, in the steel region if you look into that uh, you will get uh, uh, is called a Anything less than uh, that eutectic uh, composition 0.76 is called um, perlite and ferrite, uh, and above that it's called perlite and cementite. Okay, so it is a hypoeutectite, a hyperuductite. Hypoeutectite is less than the eutectite percentage 0.76 or 0.78, and if anything above that uh, you call it as a, a hyperuductite uh, between uh, um, you know. Uh, 0 0.76 to 2.14 uh, so uh, correspondingly as the temperature varies uh, you will uh, know we will generate a lot of phases 
So uh, as a mechanical and a civil engineers are um, any engineer, uh, you are going to deal with the iron uh, in your professions, the material. Uh, you should aware about this particular phase diagram because this is the one uh, which you are going to uh, the material, iron material, iron alloys, uh, steel, cast iron. This is what we are going to use uh, for the many of the engineering applications. So you must aware about it because uh, the composition and the, uh, the kind of cooling will change uh, the mechanical property of this system or even electronics properties or electrical properties, thermal properties. So this will vary accordingly with your uh, composition and the temperature and the way you uh, cool the system and the next uh, one what we are going to if you take a arsenic uh, the eductite arsenic if you cool it at a different temperature what is a kind of microstructure are the phases you will end up with it that's what we are going to look into that this is called a triple t diagram or the isotherm uh, of the diagram uh, you look into this uh, the big picture of the uh, iron uh, carbide, um, uh, iron, iron carbide phase diagram. Again, let me uh, recollect it. Uh, here it's 100% uh, Fe. This is 6.7% uh, of the carbon uh, composition in weight percentage. So, uh, if you heat this, uh, I mean, uh, raise the temperature of this iron, it will go through the alpha, uh, gamma, delta phases and the corresponding uh, melting temperature is given. If you add uh, slowly the uh, carbon into the system, then up to the 2.14, you will get uh, hyper, hyper eductite. If it is, if the melting temperature, if the temperature is less than 727 Celsius, uh, and above that, you will get a various phases. Um, so, um, the above 2.14 and uh, between 2.14 and 6.7, uh, 6 it's called a cast iron. Uh, you will get uh, various phases of cementite, pyrolite, transformer, lepidolite. Uh, these are the various phases. So you get familiarized with that. Even you remember this uh, phase diagram. It's very important that as an engineer, when you go that, it has to flash in your mind that whenever you repair, whenever you go for a selection of material, especially in the iron alloy, ferrous alloy system. Um, so now let us look into this um, isothermal transformation diagram. It's always you call it triple D diagram basically uh, temperature time transformation diagram uh, temperature in the uh, y axis and in Celsius uh, bottom is a uh, uh, time in the x axis in terms of seconds what do you see that if you take a eutectide astenite if you cool that if, if you if you cool down the temperature of that from 727 Celsius to uh, to the room temperature at a different rate of cooling what kind of phases you will get um, you will uh, this is again let me put it uh, this is what is the ductile temperature 727 or 728 uh, now you are uh, taking a um, um, composition of the gamma astenite and then you are slowly uh, cool down that temperature um, what would happen it will go through here uh, it, it come through in in fact uh, different phases the astenite uh, perlite uh, this is the perlite region this is astenite region Again, this astronite region is here. Then uh, this uh, 550 uh, below that, if you see that, that is a banite. Okay? This is another kind of uh, phase. Uh, and you, here you look at it, because each phase will have a different uh, mechanical properties and uh, other physical properties, uh, even including. Number. So you look at this, this is called matter site. Uh, so it starts at around 225 uh, Celsius. So uh, here, uh, the stick. Um, um, so, when you cool uh, this ductile alloy astenite, then it will uh, come down up to 600 Celsius. Then you keep it there. What would happen is uh, it go through the perlite and the astenite. Then it uh, completes transformation occur after this curve. Uh, it will become if you keep it about uh, 100 seconds, then it will become a perlite. Uh, then if, if you are rapidly cooling it will become a mutton site okay so it won't go through any kind of transformation but if you keep it uh, around uh, 450 then you allow uh, rapidly you cool it and allow it it will transform through the astenite burnite then burnite okay 
So this is the, this dotted line represents the 50 percent of the uh, transformation. Uh, this is a tributary diagram. So you can see that uh, some um, various scale that how things is going to be what would be the microstructures. You are pulling it to the B, then it keeping it there, then it's go through the austenite, then there is a austenite uh, perlite, then it will go to the uh, perlite uh, transformation. This is called austenite to perlite transformation. The temperature should be above 600, uh, 550, uh, that is the range which we are talking about. It. So let us look at uh, a numerical problem, um, how to find out or how to uh, draw and how to understand this transformation using the isothermal transformation diagram, iron carbon ally, reductive composition, specify the nature of the final microstructure, uh, a, a small specimen that has been subject to the following time temperature treatment. In each case uh, that the specimen begin at a 760 Celsius, uh, that is a 1400 Fahrenheit and that it has been held at temperature long enough to achieve a complete homogeneous, uh, homogeneous astronomy structure. Now you look at this problem, rapidly cool to 350 Celsius, hold it for 10,000 seconds, crunch to the room temperature, uh, then what would be the uh, resultant uh, structure. Rapidly cool to 250 Celsius, uh, hold it for 100 seconds, crunch uh, to room temperature, what would be this. So rapidly cool to the uh, 450, uh, 650 Celsius, hold it for 20 seconds, rapidly cool to 400 Celsius, this is a different uh, no, uh, time treatment and crunch to the room temperature. So these are the, uh, what would be the resultant uh, structure. Uh, this is what this one of the example problem which is given in the calister. Uh, so you look at that, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the first one, uh, okay, uh, you rapidly cool it around 350 and uh, you keep it that. It will become a burnite and 100% burnite. The second case, case is it will be rapidly cool it down that, uh, you know, uh, in 100 seconds it will become a matronsite. Uh, but if you look at that, uh, the 50 percent transformation C, okay. Uh, so you you rapidly cool it uh, about 600 Celsius and uh, keep it for some time. Then again cool it and give the different uh, rapidly you cool it. Then again you allow sometimes uh, thousand seconds it will become 50 50 uh, percent of perlite and burnite. Okay. Uh, so th this is what. Uh, so what you are basically you are doing it here is you are converting 50 percent perlite then rapidly uh, cooling it and transforming remaining arsenide to the uh, burnite. Okay. So uh, whenever you uh, know you come across, uh, remember this diagram also, it would be very helpful uh, to select the right kind of uh, ferrous alloy material for our engineering uh, design. Uh, thank you for watching this. Uh,